<laughs> with possessions inside to go down to get them. Yes. Hell, we know there's no time. Like, oh, Jesus, I'm going, okay, I'm, I'm ready now, Lord. He said, likewise, no one in the field should go back for anything. And I left my phone today, all right? I, yeah, time was up. I had to be in church. I can't Let me go back home with my phone. I just, time was up. I didn't have it. I didn't have it. So when the clock strikes zero, if we don't have our life together, what, what's left, all right? So let's look at it. First of all, verse, precept of our precept. It was an average day, all right? It says in the same days of Lot, you know, so many thousand years ago, people were just watching TV with their wife, watching Scandal, checking their Facebook account, <laughs> watching Love and Your Father Lev, they're doing everything outside, mowing the CNN, mowing the yard, looking at HGTV, looking at home shopping at airport, whatever it is you do on that day, you never, we never know. But whatever it is, it's on the same day. People were just doing what they were doing on, in, 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 in Sodom and Gomorrah, right? And God gave it all right, all right, he count down. Like New Year's Eve, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, the big ball jobs. This is when the fire and brimstone and the hell and something just started, started coming out. They didn't even know. They caught them on guard. It's like having an unknown appointment. We know that Jesus Christ is coming back, but we just don't know when. You know you got to go to the doctor. You just don't know when. What did I say that appointment? But the doctor knows, the God knows. Christ himself is waiting on the green light. Whatever God says, go cry. All right, I got you, Dad. Okay, well, we gotta make sure we keep it real. My wife mentioned our website. We have something we like to keep it real. Not just, you know, being hood or whatever, but we like to keep it real. We are readjusting everyone's after hour. We spend about an hour here, right? But after this hour, we want to readjust their lifestyle. Because it's great. Jesus comes out right now. Oh, thank God I'm in church. Woo! I'm in the right place. I'm in church. But when you leave this place, where are you? Where are you? And what are you? And who are you? When I, see, when I see you now, you look great. You go, wow, that's a model citizen. That's a Christian right there. But can I say the same about you at 1.30 a.m. on a Friday morning? Saturday morning, technically. You know, can I say the same about you when something doesn't go your way? Do you complain? Do you curse? Do you what? Because I, mean, I know it might sound crazy, but what if you're in the midst of having a fit? Are you cursing at your wife or your husband? And then all of a sudden, Jesus comes out. <clears throat> you would come back when I'm cussing my wife out. That's real nice of you, Jesus. <laughs> you would come back when I'm out here, you know, fooling around, sleeping around. You, you wouldn't wait till I was in church. You wouldn't wait till I read my Bible. You would come back right now when we're going to miss some dirt. Thanks so much, okay? But we want to have an ah moment, not a ah moment when, when God comes back, okay? I, this hit me last night. You know, we are looking forward to his return. <laughs> It's like I'm, I'm, I'm going to work Monday through Friday. I'm looking forward to Friday at 4 o'clock because that means I can spend the rest of my weekend doing whatever I want to do. So when it's 4 o'clock, I'm like, ah, it's 4 o'clock, ah, the weekend. All right, so as Christians, we, when Jesus, we get in church, it's like, ah, Jesus, you come and get the babies. Right, yeah, I'm on with it, bro. You finally need to take it away. Because life down here is hard. Oh, we say the struggle is real. Yeah. Right. Every single day, it's something I got to think about. Just I have to make a conscious choice. Everything I do affects my, my salvation, my relationship with God. Yeah. So I have to make a conscious choice all the time. Well, I know when Jesus Christ comes back, all oh, that debate, that good guy on one side, the bad, all oh, that's over with. Just, ah, I have a transfigured body. Ah, I don't have to worry about people business because I'm worried about court. I don't have to worry about people business because I'm worried about how I'm the of going back to school and how I'm the hell of being a dad. I don't have to worry about a bad leg or arthritis or high blood pressure. All that's over with. Ah, Jesus, just take me away. But I, I don't want to be on the other side of that. Ah, Jesus! Hold on, hold on. Would you kick the girl out of bed? Look at my clothes on. Cause I want to see God to see me like this. I live oh, oh God, oh, God, so God, I'm so sorry. I slipped up. Jesus, Jesus, please, please don't, don't judge me because of what you see me doing now. Judge me on all that other good stuff I've done. But my thing is, I don't want to be caught red-handed. Okay, I don't want to be caught red-handed. I don't want to look. I want to have that ah moment, not that ah. Oh, God, why is I, I doing that? So to keep it personal, real quick is. What would you be doing? I don't know when Jesus is coming back. I'm not saying he'll come back next week or next year. We might be dead and go when he comes back. But we don't know. But what if he does come back, let's say, next week? What would you be doing? 
Uh, next week will be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you don't know. What will you be watching? What will you be saying? What will you be thinking? What will you be looking at? Don't think just because, you know, you see somebody, you're looking at them. Don't, God knows you're looking at He knows you're thinking. Yeah. He knows you say on the inside, you know, a lot of times, you know, people like to think for you. Or, I think you have an attitude. Or, I think you have said, I think you yeah. Like, yeah. you don't know. Yeah. I barely know, but God knows. Come on. So what are you going to be doing? Because the last thing you want to do is be caught red-handed. Caught with your hand in a cookie jar. I'll never forget my wife was pregnant or she was something. And things weren't always going that well in the department. We're like, hey, you know. And she walked. I was looking at something I shouldn't have been looking at. And I heard the door creep open. And my heart just sank to the floor. And you, you try to you like, <laughs> too late. You call red hand. Okay. This is what they said. But the daylight left Sodom fire and suffer rain down from heaven and destroyed them all. They were caught in their sin. And Sodom and Gomorrah, they like to have, you know, do things with people they shouldn't have been doing things with. It's a filthy city, right? And it's horrible. They tried to sleep with the angels. So God said, I can't have this going on on my earth, so let me just get rid of all of them. Okay. So you don't want to be caught red-handed when Jesus Christ comes back. You don't want to be caught doing some of this stuff right here. That, you know, looking at scripture, studying, right? This is not this particular set of scripture where it ties into the message. First Corinthians 6, 9, and 10. It's going to talk about some things we like in society. That, you know, we get on homosexual. They're not going to heaven, right? But this is what the Word of God says. Surely you know. This is the word of God. It's like God's word making us wise. This is not my words. It's not some commentary. This is the word of God. Turn your Bibles, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9 to 10. Surely you know that people who do wrong, so the wrongdoers, will not get to enjoy God's kingdom. He said, don't be fooled. These are the people. This is not just saying this is the type of person. This says these are the people who will not get to enjoy his kingdom. Those who sin sexually, there's one type. First he said the wrongdoers. So you sin sexually, and those who worship idols, you love your football, your cars, your trucks, your house, your whatever, your movie, your jewelry, your hair, whatever you watch for that stuff, you spend more time doing that stuff, you spend in the Word of God. Come on, make it Okay, those who commit adultery, that's not just one who sleep with somebody else, those who are child. If you even think about it, you lust after somebody, this is, that's what Jesus said. I mean, I, I, I hate to think about it, but yeah, I committed those against my wife. I gotta say, there's somebody I looked at like, ooh, wow, she is fine. <laughs> 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 they said, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Let me just keep my thoughts pure. I know you have. It's like marriage. <laughs> I, I did, I did, I, yeah, I done it, right? So then like you commit those kind of notions. Say men who let other men use them for their word, there for all the kids in the middle. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you know, let's talk about homosexual. Let's talk about what all these little people, right? Uh, those who steal. Get by stealing. Tax income, uh, you Come get on. some money back somewhere, or you didn't receive uh, bootleg. Yeah, I know I have a couple bootlegs. Uh, when I rip music off of YouTube, people don't like me ripping music off of YouTube. They have to work hard for it. Yes. Okay, I, I gotta just make more money to pay for the stuff. That's right. Okay, those who are greedy, all you care about is taking your paper. Come on. It's your idol, money's your idol, okay? Uh, those who drink too much, uh-oh. <laughs> too much. <laughs> too much. It didn't say those who drink, it said those who drink too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. Those who abuse others with insults, all y'all mixing people out there. Oh, can yeah. cut somebody out of the middle. Ooh, girl, why she's out Let me get the earrings off. Come on, my Woo! Jesus. You don't always like to clown somebody, you jake on your joint, right? And then those who cheat. So don't just be talking, ooh, gay folk, gay folk, gay folk. Come on. Make sure you're not on this list. All right. All right. <laughs> Cause they get a whole lot of bad prayer. They get a whole lot of like everybody else doing this other stuff and just worry about the gay folk. Okay, we need to make sure we get ourselves together. All right, so we're going to play a game of hot potato real quick. Hot potato, right? So here's the hot potato. We're going to start with false, all right? You're going to pass it to the person 
Everybody, know, everybody had to be taught the electric slide. <laughs> you had to follow the exact what they were doing. You said, how you do that too? What, what step? How do I do that? So you want to do exactly what step I'm doing. And you're going to say you're going to do the electric slide. You're going to start doing the Mississippi Cha Cha slide. You're going to do the electric slide. <laughs> so Jesus is saying, you're going to be called a Christian. You are a true Christian. You are a true follower. You're going to follow me. Yes. If I don't say make to turn around four times, if I didn't say it, why you turn around four times? If I didn't say you get caught up in lust and drinking too much and stealing and talking to people, why are you doing it? So I shouldn't come back and catch you doing stuff that you know you shouldn't do. Well, Jesus, Jesus yeah, I love you. I'm praying for you so many times. You know, all that other good stuff. But he'll say, I just, I don't know you. He said the very plain of the word that we people crying out for Jesus. We, we, we heal people. We spoke in tongues. We raised so many thousand dollars. We were this big church. Like, really? Was that for my glory or was it for your glory? To say you did that. Because when it said done, you really weren't following me. Because if you were following me, I shouldn't catch you in a situation like this. Sometimes we tell the camera, go brush your teeth, go brush your teeth. He likes to make bubbles. He'll take the dish soap and the guy there tell him to make bubbles. Right? He'll take the soap and he'll have a little container to make some bubbles. I shouldn't go in the bathroom and catch him making bubbles. <laughs> if he's over there and brushing his teeth. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, all right, we're going to close out with this, okay? On that day, no one who is in the house, on the house top with the dish inside should go down to get them. Likewise, no one in the field should go back for anything. When time is up, it's up. Who watches football? Y'all heard about the two in the morning? <laughs> yeah. Guess what? With Jesus Christ, it's gonna be gonna be a two in the morning. Because at two in the morning, we know that the game's about to end. You down three points, you better at least get a field goal or score a touchdown. Even in NBA, they give a two in the morning. Two minutes, two minutes rain. And even when I cheer them, we teach them, Carter, you got three seconds to get over here before I get to the bell. It's about to be a problem. One, two, three. We do that, right? Five. All right, we, we try to get it right. He already knows what I'm talking about. But with Jesus, it won't be a CNN breaking news. Jesus coming back in two minutes. For all the youth called homosexual hate, for all your sexual sins, all your adults, all you lie, all you cheat, like all the long, long list of sins, stop doing it right now. You plan on going to heaven. Everybody getting text alerts on their Twitter, on their uh, Facebook. Look. Forget an ALS challenge. Because Jesus is who can heal all that stuff. ALS, cancer, anything you got. Okay? But that's what it's all about. There won't be a two minute or a three second. He's going to be like, nope, there he is. And then my prayer, we're all just like, oh, just take me. Come turn on the radio. You know, what would you be doing when Jesus come back? Will you just panic? Will you, will you freak out? Will you what? It's my prayer. We just keep doing whatever it is we're doing. Yes. Safe and sound, knowing that we're doing the right thing. We're glorifying God, whatever it is we do. Yes. And then when he comes, we can just go with him. Say bye-bye to all the trouble, all the worry. And just say hello to life of eternity and the paradise in Jesus Christ. Y'all yeah, got that? Yes. And so my question is now, you 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 seen the light. Are you ready to go and be the light? Yeah. Are we ready to stop drinking too much? Are we ready to stop talking about people lying, stealing, yeah. cheating, all that? I'm not saying that you're doing that, but in case you are, are you ready to stop? Yeah. Are you really ready to stop? Not just like, yeah, oh, praise the Lord, brother. And you get outside. And, Don't say that. Say that. Yeah. I can't. I can't do that. Because God knows our heart. Yes. Okay, so we want to make sure His light is in our heart and that we can go out and be His light. Amen. 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 All right, so y'all believe that. Say it with me because I believe that life and death is in the power of the tongue. Y'all ready? Amen. Okay, so God's word will make me wiser. God's word will make me stronger. And God's word will make me better. Glory to God. Give a hand.